guys, Sarah Banis here, Spectrum Weavers. I have something super neat to show you today. So I'm going to show you how to take your photograph and turn it into an SVG or a cuttable image um, for your Cricut or for your silhouette or for your scanning cut. So the neat thing about this is that up until this point, um, everybody, well, at least at least in the groups that I'm in, this is something new that I have found. Um, everybody has been able to do this who has uh, an iOS device, an iPad or um, uh, iPhone. There's um, an app you can get called, I believe it's pronounced Imagine, um, and that does this as easily as this one does. Um, but up until now, I haven't been aware of a way that people who are um, PC or Mac users could do this. Well, we found it. So let's get to work here. The first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to a website called remove.bg. And that is going to remove the background on your image. So let's go ahead and upload our image. Uh, you can see that I already did it as a test run here, but I'll show you what the original image was. So this is the original image and it'll automatically remove the background. Now what you want to do is you want to click edit and then click color and then click right here, the white one. That's the one that you want. Okay. Then click download, download image. Okay. And now we can hop over to cutecutter.com and I will link uh, both remove.bg as well as cutecutter.com in the description of the video. Uh, so on cutecutter.com, scroll up, get started. You can see again that I already played around with it a little bit. Upload new image. It's this one. Okay. Now what you want to do is over here on the right hand side, you're going to play with these until you have it how you want it, the best you can get it for that particular image. Each image is going to be different. So the first one I'm going to move is I'm going to move edge contrast. And obviously, you know, with a pad, it's a little bit harder because you're uh, addressing fur, which is going to have more lines. And you want to make sure that you're, you know, getting it to look like your image without, um, without making it unweedable. So the blur is taking it a little bit and it takes a little bit of time. You're going to have to play with it and, you know, get it the way you want it. Get rid of all those speckles on the outside. And anything extra, like if you get some of this extra here, you can always just clean that up in your design program. That's no big deal to erase out once you pull it into anyone, whether it be Silhouette Studio, Cricut Design Space, or Scan and Cut uh, Canvas. Oh, I'll get rid of that anyways. Take this down just a little bit. I think that's pretty good right there, though. So anyway, so I mean, that's really all there is to it. And then you would click download. Uh, and obviously you would make an account, download that, and then you would upload it right into um, right into your design program and cut it. And it's that simple. So it's just a just a neat way to uh, turn your photos into cuttable images so that you can, you know, whether that be applying them onto a shirt or, you know, maybe you want to put it on a mug or, you know, whatever have you. So that's it. So I'm also going to link in the description um, my Facebook group. We have an absolutely fantastic group. It's about maybe 140,000 people or so right now. It's called Cricket and Silhouette for Beginners. Super friendly, super helpful, super knowledgeable. I'm always adding new tutorials. Also, make sure that you like this video and subscribe. Um, I come out with new videos once a week or so. And then when the new videos come out, you'll get a notification that, you know, there's a new one. Um, but also, you know, if you're in other craft groups, feel free to share this. There's, this is a common problem that, you know, PC and Mac users 
if if they're you know if they're Android users and they don't have iOS for their phone that they don't have the availability to do this and this will be incredibly helpful for them so you know feel free to share this in other groups that you're in um you know help your fellow crafters out um and that's it if you have any questions at all ask them in the description below or you know like i said make sure you come join us um in in the in our facebook group i'll link that in the description um and you're always welcome to ask me any questions you have there as well okay that's it have a great day bye